Well, folks, the jury has been dismissed for the day. It looks like we will not be getting a verdict in the Trump trial uh, on day one, which I have to say, they've made it. They've been deliberating longer than I expected. I expected them to go full lynching like, you know, Murdoch and come back in like 30 minutes and say, yep, we're going to hang the guy. Uh, We want to string him up like Mussolini and uh, we're going to bleed the orange man dry. So far, that hasn't happened, and uh, so they have exceeded my expectations. Good for them. Um, apparently, the jury has decided to ask some questions, not only about the instructions from the judge, which there's been a lot of arguments on Twitter over today, um, but also uh, they want to uh, look again at some of the testimony that was delivered uh, before the or during the trial. So uh, the major contention today uh, is over the jury instructions in which the judge said that uh, – so just explain uh, the way that the charges against Trump work is they're charging him with felony falsification of business records. In order for it to be a felony, uh, he must have falsified business records with the intent to commit uh, some other crime. And so a lot of the testimony from people like Stormy Daniels or David Pecker uh, or Michael Cohen, uh, that testimony was meant to uh, try and prove uh, that Trump had criminal intent and that he was trying to commit uh, some sort of crime, specific crimes. And so um, in order for the jury to find him guilty, they would have to prove that he intentionally falsified business records uh, for the purpose of – Uh, committing one of these crimes. In the jury instructions, however, the judge stated that the uh, the jury does not have to come to a unanimous decision about uh, what crime Trump was even trying to commit. All they have to do is agree that he was falsifying records and that he had the intention of committing some crime, but not any specific crime, just some crime, which seems like an incredibly low bar. I'm not a lawyer, uh, but I do like to play one on the internet. No, actually, no no idiot would want to pretend to be a lawyer on the internet, be associated with the likes of Nick Ricada. <laughs> That's the last thing you want to be if you're on YouTube is a lawyer. My God, those people, it's so embarrassing. You know, and it's too bad that we don't have a real law tube anymore uh, because today would be a great day to watch somebody like Nick Ricada, um, you know, and have the panel on with all the people, uh, all the different lawyers with different opinions and different experiences, you know, trying to explain this and break down some of the legalese and, uh, you know, maybe uh, try and understand where the judge is coming from and explain, you know, perhaps why he's uh, completely wrong. But instead, you know, what we have is we have uh, the statute that we can read as lay people. Uh, That's what I did. I went to the statute. Uh, It was uh, New York Penal Code. um, Like, I forget how you read it when it's written. It's it's written as 175.10. Like, I don't know if that's Article 175, Section 10. I assume that's how you read it. But anyway... Uh, it refers to, um, you know, a specific date and time uh, and location in which, you know, some act was committed of falsifying business records with the intent uh, to commit a crime. Currently, there are 34 of these counts um, that were, have been brought against Trump. And so in order to convict him of anything, the jury – 12 jurors would have to agree – On at least one of these counts, they all had – because that's the thing about unanimity (laughs) is they all have to agree on the same count. And so each specific count um, in which the uh, court or which the state is alleging that Trump intended to commit a crime, each count should have some crime associated with it that they're saying he was intending to commit. That should have been a part of the state's argument. And so what is this about saying that you don't have to agree on what the underlying crime was? Because to me, what it sounds like is that they don't have to agree agree on any one of these specific uh, 34 counts. It sounds like if one of the jurors, or if any of the jurors, 
as long as they think that he's guilty under one of the counts, <laughs> that essentially the judge will take that as a verdict. So, you know, in other words, the way it reads or the way it sounds, and I don't think this is quite the case, but this is how it sounds to me, and this is how it sounds to a lot of people, uh, the 12 jurors could uh, theoretically say he's guilty of 12 different counts, all different counts, but since they all say he's guilty of something, the judge will take that as a guilty verdict. I mean, how else do you read it when he's saying you don't have to agree on what the underlying crime was? Because each count, you know, you can't say that uh, under each count, you know, he could be committing any crime. I mean, they would, would I mean, they've got to allege something, we think. But again, um, I'm not an expert on this. This is just me being an interested voter following the presidential election. Um, so it would be nice to hear from, uh, you know, maybe some, some lawyers try to, you know, explain this in greater detail. Unfortunately, they're all off mm, snorting coke. They're off mm, lubing themselves up, offering pizza casseroles to, to underage girls. They're running interference for, for some guy who put on a baldo. And so um, we laymen are just out here fending for ourselves. Or God forbid, we have to listen to the legal advice from the folks at uh, Fox News and CNN. So um, uh, there's good news and bad news for Trump coming out of today. Uh, on the good news side, the jury's still deliberating. And the longer the deliberation goes, I think that, well, I think that is, uh, it definitely looks good for Trump. Because the longer it goes, the more the likelihood that this is a hung jury. Obviously, this, was, this jury was never going to acquit him. It is a Manhattan jury. It is a lynching jury. But he's hoping for some holdouts. And so that's good news. They're asking questions. That's good news. That means that they're not sure. Um, but the bad news is the judge did seem to make it very, very easy for them to convict him on at least something. Because he's saying, just give me anything to work with here, and I will rule, uh, I'll gavel him down as guilty, and you guys can go home, and everyone can feel good about themselves. He's trying to make it as easy as possible for them to convict. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, uh, I'd still 50-50. Before, I would have thought it was like 70-30. Trump was going to be convicted of something. Now I think it's at least 50-50. So anyway, with that said, um, I will see you folks back here potentially tomorrow if we get a, if we get a verdict. Uh, so uh, have a good night.